Hey, welcome back friends. So today's video is about the cons of having a permanent site. So we've just did a video about the pros of a permanent site. We literally just did it 10 minutes ago, That's but right. this is coming out of probably about a week later. And uh, so yeah, go check that out if you want to see the, the pros of a permanent site. There are several, but there's also several cons. Just like anything, uh, there's pros and cons to anything. We're going to talk about that today. We've had this permanent site now for about eight months, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then we've also had this this rig seasonally here several times for months at a time. So we've got, I would say a couple of years at this point of yeah, I think a that's permanent a safe, site experience, seasonal sites, mm -hmm. what you call it, seasonal site. And um, so we've got some experience there. Today we're gonna to talk about the cons, just the cons, like we did, like we said, or I did the pros. I hope you stick around. Hey guys, before we start, we're we're on a scenic drive. We're, our campground is very close to a scenic drive. It's literally like right there. And um, so you're gonna hear some motorcycles, you're gonna hear some sports cars. There's just nothing, there's no way we'd ever get that video in, this video in if we stopped. As you can hear, every, there goes one right there. We would stop every few seconds. Yeah, every During few the seconds. Day. During the day. At night, <laughs> yeah. it's very pleasant. Yeah. There's none there, There's none out there. But uh, when it's campfire time, it's good to go. But but yeah, I just wanted to start with that. You want our first con? Our first con, but also like yeah. our neighbors are doing maintenance. So if you hear a blower or a right. hammer, it's it's pretty typical. Yeah, we talked about it in the last yeah, video too. So. Yeah, just head, see, heads up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do All our right. first our first con. Okay, so one of our first con. The first con is you can't get a video in. <laughs> well, right. okay, but not All for right. everyone. Yeah. Right. But our first con that we thought of was there's less discovery. So right. we've been around this campsite for a while now, so we feel like we've discovered, you know, identified our favorite joints, our favorite. Right you know, a little the restaurant nearby or hikes, the, our favorite things. So there's less discovery and that's right. really something we love about camping is right. traveling and, you know, finding restaurants. So there is less of that here and that's, that's definitely a con for us. Right. And I'd, I'd mentioned, I didn't mention this in the last video, but I think if we had to choose a permanent site over still traveling around, we would definitely still travel. Absolutely. A hundred percent. I mean, I, I think that's a huge issue if you, if you now for, again, there's pros to this too, but, um, yeah, you, you're just, there's no new campgrounds. You, yeah, everything's, there's yeah, no discovery. We, we love yeah. finding new places, so. Right, we do. So that's one huge con and pretty obvious. And on that on that same note, there's no new scenery. Uh, you know, that's kind of the second con, second obvious con. with the same campsite every single time. And so you know where you're going. A lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of the fun for me when I'm, you know, the campground maps a lot of times are terrible. A lot of times campground pictures are terrible, campsite pictures. So when you pull up to a campsite, most of the time you don't really know what you're getting. Sometimes it's a pleasant surprise and sometimes not so much. But it's always fun that before you get there to the, imagine. The anticipation. Yeah, the, yeah, anticipation, the anticipation is always yeah. fun. So, um, so yeah, there's no new scenery and that's a con for us. All right, so less discovery, uh, no new scenery really. And then a third con for us is you're stuck with your neighbors. Now, sometimes that can be a pro. Sometimes you got really good neighbors. We're lucky. We've got great neighbors around us. Yes. But if you don't have good neighbors, that could be a huge con and you can't really choose them. Uh, now, you, now one thing you can do, we did a video about uh, obtaining a, a permanent site. Mm -hmm. One thing you can do is once you get in, you can move around the campground and kind of get into areas that you would rather be. So you can kind of choose your neighbors, but for the most part, you might be stuck with them. So that's yeah. that can be a con for you can sure. Still, I mean, we moved to this site recently right. um, and we didn't know who our neighbors would be really right. but we've hit the jackpot but we wanted this area we knew we yeah. wanted this area you know you can you can you know some people don't keep their sites as tidy as others and so when you see a, an area that a lot of tidy sites probably like-minded individuals yep that's right and so in that way you can exactly. but the con here is a lot of times you can't yeah all right, another con, guys, and I talked about this as being a pro is let, less maintenance on the rig, less travel maintenance, but the con of that is if you do decide to start moving again, there's going to be more maintenance. So uh, uh, last video, I talked about some of these people haven't had any tires in 15 or 20 years maybe, but if you start moving, well, then you're going to have all that's going to catch up to you. You're going to have to service those bearings. You're going to have to serve, get new tires. You're going to have to do all that stuff, and um, you know, a lot of times things add up, and so... Uh, you know, when you start moving your rig again, you may have issues you might not have had if everything was lubed up and moving around. You know, one of the best things you can do for a car or a boat or anything is use it. So when it sits here like this, some of the travel components 
they may get what my granddad used to call stove up. Oh, yep. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so yeah, you have to be real careful with your maintenance and uh, getting it back on the road. All right, another thing we certainly wanted to mention is the upkeep. Now, while the upkeep doesn't take us hours and hours, we don't pull up right. to a clean campsite. We have leaves. We're under a beautiful oak tree, but right. it's fall and it's full of leaves when we pull up. So yep. there's not a campground host cleaning our site, prepping it, getting it ready for us to arrive. We are the campground host and we have to prep our site when we get here. So Corey's blowing leaves, we're putting them in a tarp, we're taking care of things, wiping down the table. Not crazy maintenance, like I said. I mean, it's not hours and hours, but it's certainly something we have to do as soon as we pull up. It's good 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah, I would say for a good 30 minutes, you know, we're not setting up the rig, but we are cleaning up the site, in the, at least in the fall. Now, you know, there's other times, mm -hmm. if we're here during the winter, after the leaves have fallen, or you know, through the summer, there's not nearly as much going on. But it, th now this will vary too with, with campground to campground. So we're talking about our particular situation. A lot of times, you know, we get a basically a better deal, some construction going on. We get a better deal here, that's really loud. I have no clue what they're doing. <laughs> Sounds like they're sawing a whole camper in half. <laughs> but we, we get a better monthly price here because we do upkeep the, yeah. the site. And that will also include like if we wanted to do gravel or something yeah. like that. Now, I do think if it was an erosion problem, um, then they would certainly take care of that. And if it's anything with the electrical or the plumbing or the water, they also take care of that. So that's not on us. That's definitely on the campground. But uh, yeah, general upkeep. Yeah, you know. and I was even thinking like our fire pit. We have a fire pit. Right. No one's cleaning it out. We we're maintaining no. all of that. So um, exactly. That's it. Nothing kind of a crazy. con. Yeah. All right, one more final con, and this is a big one. Uh, the rig for us, our rig is about an hour and forty minutes away. Mm -hmm. So anything that pops up, you know, if I need to, if it if it gets really cold really quick, and I need to go winterize, well, I got to drive three hours, you know, hour and a half here, hour and a half back to come winterize it. Anything, a little thing like that, uh, you know, if anything goes wrong or if it needs any type of maintenance immediately, specifically winterizing, I guess is the big one. Uh, but we also have forgotten stuff. Yeah. So there's times where we've gotten home and we're like, oh my gosh, we forgot that and we have to have that. Mm -hmm. So we have to drive back up and go get it. And so that's a, you know, you can forget stuff anywhere, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But uh, you're more apt to do it when you're here often. Yeah. But no, and no one's shipping it to us, we gotta No, no go one's shipping it to <laughs> us. That's right, we have, we have left things at a state park before and they would ship it to us. Like I think they shipped us some, shipped us some keys one time. Possibly. And then, yeah, so yeah. anyway, yeah, there's nobody here. Um, you take care, this is our situation. We have to take care of our particular site. Tallulah's getting angry inside because she she's ready to be back out. She sees a squirrel. <laughs> sure. And um, But yeah, the rig is far away and that can be a pain. Even if I wanted to get new tires, um, you know, I'd have to drive up here, take the tires off the rig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, much more convenient when it's the rig's 10 minutes away from home or a lot of you get to store them at your house which is super convenient definitely a con that the rig is further away sometimes well if you've made it this far you've sat through our video with the most background noise in the history of our videos here comes the more <laughs> motorcycle it's easily the busiest weekend in the north georgia mountains right yeah, now it's leaf, it peak leaf season and everyone's up here uh even in the campground it's it's normally not this busy no it's yeah. it's a noisy day so yeah but I appreciate Thanks for having with us. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Um, yeah, it, there's certainly pros to this. We really enjoy this permanent we site. We love it. Yeah. And um, I think I don't know if I mentioned this one. No, I did mention this one. We would we would definitely travel over sitting in a permanent mm -hmm. site. But um, this is really good. But there's 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 cons to it yeah. for sure. Just like anything, uh, there's cons to traveling around too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's right. Yeah. Uh, if you want a soundtrack of all the background noises, yeah, the motorcycles, the sports car, the blowers, the hammers, and the, the saws, dog. the small dog, our dog, uh, just hit me up in the comment section. I'll get you a, uh, I'll just go old school and send you a CD. What is it, cassette tape? <laughs> cassette tape, yeah, <laughs> a track. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. I hope this was useful. Yeah. And as always, consider subscribing. See ya. that we certainly want to mention is the upkeep so while it doesn't take us hours and hours well so on that note I don't think we mentioned it yet but we're right here on a scenic drive and that's our son trying to get out of the this is why, why it's hard to do a video with two kids running around yeah it's sometimes it gets rough all right before we get started again there's a lot of well, anyway